Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here. This is a walk in the Pearl District area of Portland, Oregon. Um, as I said in a video before, I was in Oregon on business, family business. So um, once I got done in Eugene, I decided to come up to Portland where my daughter is actually uh, living in the Portland area. So, of course, I was here a couple of days, so I was like, well, I might as well go to the Pearl District, Knob Hill, and, you know, stuff like that. Go ride my new uh, Electric X Premium e-bike. Of course, you can see in this video, I was not riding an e-bike. I decided to walk around downtown. Um, and I did end up riding my bike later, but that was in the Grisham area because I was interested in actually looking at that area because uh, I was curious about it. I don't know much about it. Anyway, the Pearl District, since I was here in August time frame, um, and I was here during, in 2020, I want to say March, I was here, I was here, I've been, this is about probably my fourth or fifth time in Portland in probably two years, uh, separate occasions. So with that being said, what did I notice about the Pearl District this time? The homeless problem is really bad now really really bad in the pearl district i mean it is really bad and i don't say that as some you know some you know guy who watches just the news and uh talks about you know what's going on and all that stuff but never actually does anything no i'm talking firsthand as you can see in the video i'm in the pearl district um there are homeless people all over and that really comes down to the local uh government making it uh a little too comfortable for the homeless population in the area. They're camped on the sidewalks. They're, I was walking behind a couple of them, and they're talking about their drugs. I'm not talking marijuana. I'm talking about, I'm talking about fentanyl and taking blues and all this stuff. Just nonchalant, like, you know, going to smoke a cigarette, <laughs> you know. Uh, one warning, if you see any wet spots and it hasn't rained in Portland in a minute, make sure you step over them if you're in this, the vicinity of Pearl District. Um, my videos are very broken up and you know the reason why they're broke up because I couldn't keep a homeless person out of my videos. Literally, any time you turn a corner, there was one walking and it was worse in some area. Now, the areas I felt really bad about were a lot of the parks, the smaller parks in the Pearl District. I saw grown adults swinging in the swings, homeless adults. You know, no kids getting to use those uh, any any time that park and you wouldn't want to have your kids in that park no telling how many needles and different stuff is in the in the parks that they're sitting in and sleeping in and all this stuff i'm telling you they need to vote out the uh government mayor needs to go i'm just going to be honest with you this comes down to the mayor and the city council and now the same day though i went to the knob hill too and i'll be doing a video on knob hill and we'll compare and contrast the difference in what I saw in regards to the Pearl District versus Knob Hill. Knob Hill is a little more upper middle class, upper upper class neighborhood. I love Pearl District area, but I'm going to tell you right now, should you skip it? It's your decision. If you're from a big city like Chicago, L.A., you know, like major actual major cities, this ain't nothing to you. You know what I mean? You know those areas. Um, you know, it's not a, it's not it's not going to be like eye opening to you. Um, and I say that as someone that grew up in big cities, I live in Denver and I'm not saying Portland's any worse than Denver, please trust me. They got a serious homeless population and I work in human services slash mental health. Two of my side jobs are actually, I work with the homeless population at two different, for two different companies on the side. And it is just as bad in Denver. Matter of fact, one of the places, areas I work at, one of the shelters, that area will look like Night of the Living Dead any Friday or Saturday, Sunday. And I am not exaggerating. Trust me, guys. It is horrible. But what you find out is they love to stick the homeless population, put the shelters in the poorest neighborhoods. Then Those poor neighborhoods are already dealing with enough stuff, you know. And now you throw... Uh, a homeless population in there with probably majority of them addicted to drugs, mental health, you know, take your pick. So with that being said, you're, I can, I can tell you in the Knob Hill video, I didn't hardly see any homeless people in comparison to what you see in the Pearl District. Uh, begging, begging. I remember I talked in other videos about begging. I had one person ask me for money. 
this time. And I don't answer him. I walk him off. I'm not going to answer you. You shouldn't be asking people for money. That's just me. That's how I look at it. Sometimes I get, I get irritated with him. I said, <laughs> you know, I told one of them, uh, I've actually told him a couple times, I said, man, I got three jobs. You need to give me some money or work one of my jobs for me. You know, they go on begging. Ugh, it's so gross to me. Anyway, I don't know what to tell you. I can tell you if you're from Portland, and this has nothing to do with the the average Portland person that lives there. This is the government not knowing what to do, creating such a comfortable environment for the homeless population and pushing so many benefits out there that not only should help the Portland residents that are homeless, but it all but unfortunately it attracts homeless people from across the country attracted to Portland where they don't get any snow. The weather's fairly mild. Uh, the benefits are on on par with California, Denver, and all those places if you don't have housing. So with that being said, they're not just dealing with their own homeless population. They're dealing with likely half the countries. I can tell you for a fact, I take calls at night at one of my jobs when I work at one of the homeless places. And people will literally call me from Tennessee, Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama. And I say those for a fact because I've taken those calls. They'll be riding on fumes, coming into Denver, calling me looking for free housing. Because they, cause they really do. They hear there's free housing out in Denver. So guess what? We get all, honestly, lower skilled people attracted to marijuana or whatever. Uh, think they're going to get something for free coming out here. And the sad thing is, is I deal with family with kids. And it would suck to have parents with such low expectations. I'm just saying. Well, let me get on my soapbox. Let's get back to the Pearl District. I still enjoyed my time down here. I love this area. Unfortunately, like I said, the homeless population has blown up there. Now, with that being said, it depends where you're from. If you're from Lincoln, Nebraska, <laughs> this might be eye-opening to you coming here. Uh, let's be honest. <laughs> it, might, it might be eye-opening or from Omaha to see the amount of homeless people. But if you're like me or like anybody who grew up in an actual, like a real major city, uh, you're not going to be like, yeah, whatever. It looks like Skid Row. It actually doesn't look like Skid Row. Skid Row is horrible looking. Uh, but it looks like a, a, a place where homeless people sleep, <laughs> you know, in certain parts. The hard thing is, and I think, and this has nothing to do with defund police. People get on here on people's videos and talk about defund the police. They don't even, most of the people talking to him have a clue what that even means half the time to speak like that. No, it has nothing to do with it. It has to do with the city council and the mayor passing different types of laws, initiatives that basically make the homeless population feel comfortable, like allowing them to put tents up on the sidewalk. And like it's okay, allowing them to use drugs in public and not be in it decriminalized. I don't think drugs should be criminalized because we can't afford it. But there needs to be a place where if you want to do them, you need you you need to go there and do them. Certain sites or whatever. I don't know. Look to your look at Germany as an example. Check out how they do it. I don't know. But I would hate to have a seven-year-old kid and we're on vacation and they turn a corner and someone's injecting themselves with drugs. That's a conversation I wouldn't want to have as a parent. I don't know about anybody else, but I wouldn't want to have it. But I still enjoyed my time walking around here. Um, like I said, can I recommend it? No. Can I not recommend it? I don't know. Um, I don't know, guys. It depends where you're from, what you're used to. Uh, you got a sense of adventure in regards to me. I don't care. I am I have a sense of adventure. I'll go everywhere. I never believe everything people tell me. I'm going to tr- see, check it out for myself. Because many times if I listen to the comments that come in on YouTube, I would never leave my house. You know, people have you scared of your own shadow like they're scared of their own shadow. So I'm, a, I'm always about adventure. I'll go anywhere. I go check it out. Check it out for myself. I make my own opinions, make up my own, you know, thoughts and everything on an area. So anyway, check out for my Knob Hill video that's going to be coming up after this. It was a beautiful day. It was probably in the mid 70s. And this is in October 2022. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day, everyone. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Maybe this gets you, gives you some ideas for your next vacation. And just because one area in Portland has a serious home homeless population does not mean you need to X the city off of your list to go visit because it's not like that everywhere. 
Oh, before I forget, uh, my daughter lives in Hillsboro, so she loves Hillsboro. Uh, I went and checked it out. I drove all around it. I found out I really love Hillsboro. It's a beautiful area, so it's on my top list. If I do move, Hillsboro, Beaver Tent, and Lake o Oswego. I think that's how you say it, Lake Oswego. Yeah. Um, both all of them are on my list, and I checked out Grisham. There'll be a video of me riding my my e bike there, but I like Beaverton, Hillsboro, and Lake Oswego. Awesome areas. Hardly see any homeless people. You see them like when you're getting ready to get on the highway, like you know how they be on the public land around where you get on the highways and stuff. I've seen that in San Diego and other cities too. Those little pieces of public land they want to set up shop. Well, anyway. With that being said, don't X off Portland just because I told you this area had a lot of homeless people. You, you know, depending on where you're from, you know, what you want to do, you may really enjoy coming down here. Um, yeah, you may. You may not, depending on where you're from. But don't take my word for it. Come check it out because Portland, there's a lot of stuff to do. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for putting out.